What makes us so interested in antique tractors? Rustitis. It's a disease that you get when you collect tractors. Some call it rustitis. Some call it classic tractor fever. But whatever you call it, Dick Bockwalt's got it. At Antique Tractor Acres, located outside Dixon, Iowa, Dick works full-time restoring classic tractors with the able assistance of his lovely wife, Dorothy. I'm probably a gopher more than anything. Go for parts or paint or whatever, you know, he happens to need. We have a lot of classic tractors on our farm. One of my favorites is the General Ordnance Tractor, formerly called the Go Tractor. It is my favorite and is probably the rarest we have. This is the General Ordnance Tractor built in 1919, 1920, right in that era. It comes from Northern Ohio. It did not have any fenders on it or hood or it had a radiator on it, I think, but it was in very sad shape. This rare old GO has already undergone one restoration. Within a matter of weeks, a second restoration will have been completed, after which it will look and sound just as sweet and pretty as it did when it rolled off the assembly line more than 70 years ago. The General Ordnance Tractor uses a Waukesha headless engine. There's no head on this. This is all the block and head is all in one. You've got to take the valves and that out through little plugs on the top. It carries a, a four and a half inch bore by five and three quarter inch stroke. Uh, this engine was used in the same engine used in the Rock Island Hyder. They're the same engine. If you wanted to buy a new General Ordnance back in 1919 or 1920, it would have cost you about $1,400. And while you certainly would have gotten your money's worth for that $1,400, one thing you wouldn't have gotten was a transmission. The uh, thing that is so fascinating about this tractor, it does not have a transmission in it. It's got a friction drive. This lever here, you can't call it a clutch. It's a lever that determines which way you're going to go forward or in re forward or reverse. It moves your big drive drums from one side to the other. One way is forward, is you know, going forward, and the other reverses it. This lever here determines the speed you want to go forward or reverse. This tractor will go just as fast in reverse as it will go forward, probably about three or four mile an hour. The General Ordnance is not a heavy tractor. It weighs in at a mere 4,200 pounds and can easily be moved from point A to point B with or without the engine running. If I want to move the tractor forward or reverse just by without starting the tractor, I can move this flywheel and now it's starting to, see I'm turning it in reverse, the tractor goes forward. If I move this forward, the tractor backs up. Although the notion of creature comfort was still in its infancy for farmers back in the 1920s, the General Ordnance did feature an early spring suspension. In the end, however, the GO's innovations, most notably its friction drive, proved to be impractical. The situation was good at first, but that friction drive wore out. Talking to several people that had the hider in the, these tractors, they said you had to replace them about twice every spring because they would start slipping and in the dirt why it was not uh, feasible. So we don't know how many tractors were made. The serial number of my tractor is serial number 1512. We know of another one down in Missouri, the serial number is 1931. So somewhere in there, we have no idea. We know of four tractors in the United States that we know of. Not saying there isn't more somewhere hiding or in parts somewhere, but we do not know of them as of right now. And if there is, I hope they come forward and let us know that they have one. It's interesting when you've got a farm background, uh, anybody can buy a new tractor or what it is, but to find these old ones and restore them, like you say, and make them look like new and run like new, it's uh, a feeling inside you that I think all of our collectors will probably say the same thing, that it's just a good feeling. This and many other great tractors are selling on the Bockwald Huber Tractor Collection Auction on October 12th and 13th, 2018. Visit almondvintagepower.com today for more information.